and won an, a, an important game in, in January. That help it all now that it's a completely different season and with so many new faces. Not necessarily. Um, this was it was a different team that when we went up there, and they're a different team as well. Obviously, Tom Brady isn't the quarterback anymore. Uh, Mac Jones is playing at a high level. Their defense is playing at a high level as well. So it'll be a huge challenge for us. Uh, I would guess just the routine of knowing where the locker rooms and all that stuff would be a little bit easy. But as far as these two teams are different teams and we're at different parts in our uh, season. Um, but it's two great teams, so I think that it'll be a competitive game as well. So uh, I'm excited about the challenge this week to prepare and get ready to go beat the New England Patriots. Evan, why do you think this team seems to have a knack for playing some of its best football a lot of times, at, either after a poor performance or after you know losing guys to injuries and things like that? Is there anything you can put your finger on? Not necessarily. Um, I said at the end of the game, we didn't play well, and we need to make that consistent. But at the end of the day, I mean, if we can consistently play well, play, play up to our standard, our level, we'll be undefeated. And, you know, that sometimes doesn't happen in this NFL, and we're still 8-3. and three, So, you know, we did play a, a bad game on Sunday, but at the end of the day, we're still in a great spot, and uh, we're going to have great energy today, great energy this week, and we're going to be positive, and we're going to go out there and try to get another W. Not the first time you faced a former teammate, but what was it like kind of watching John New develop here, and what's it going to be like to face him on Sunday? No, it's going to be fun. Uh, John New was a great player here. Um, Enjoy. Obviously, I played against him in college at FIU and MTSU. Uh, had a lot of battles on his practice field with him, one on ones or whatever that may be. Um, was really happy and really proud of you know the contract that he got his offseason. Was able to you know uh, go to New England and um, it's gonna be fun going against him. I, he's gonna be a huge challenge for us. Anytime he has the ball in his hands, he has the the chance to go you know 80 yards or whatever that may be. But also Hunter Henry's playing really well for those guys as well. So two really good tight ends, and I'm excited about the challenge to go cover both of them. They guys yeah. talk a lot about the next man up mentality, and I know that attitude is so much of that, but, but what does it take practically when you're out there and someone new comes in to, to keep going and keep having that success? Yeah, it takes for, number one, usually when we talk about the next man up mentality, especially the guys that we've had here, guys understand that even they're, even if they're on practice squad, that they have to be ready to play in the game because you never know what happens throughout the week. Um, Obviously, with all the injuries that we have, everybody has to be clued in and make sure they're ready to play. But when they bring guys in from other places or maybe from the street, those guys do a great job of coming in the building and understanding what the, the mentality is and how much we love football, how much we love to prepare and get ready for games. And they immediately get up to speed really quick. But then at the same time, me personally, especially if they're in my room or just on the defense or whatever, I try to make sure that I'm always talking to them, uh, helping them out if they have any questions, trying to be you know, a coach on the field in, in a sense. So, um, But that next man mentality up has definitely been uh, huge for us this year, obviously with all the injuries. I see Mac Jones and how he likes to you know, quit passing game. How difficult is it going to be for you, you know, as a safety to, to not – like come up and then they take that shot over top. Is that something you guys are, you know, you're really being conscious of? For sure. I mean, it takes patience. I mean, as a safety, I understand my responsibility uh, depending on, you know, what the coverage is and stuff like that. I can't really get too antsy to try to go, you know, go with, go outside the defense to try to go make certain plays uh, because, like you said, then they will take a shot and then uh, nobody wants to see that, no big plays. So I think as long as we, you know, keep the ball in front of us, he can dink and dunk it as much as he want. If we're, you know, good in the red zone, we'll be good. Um, but like I said, he's playing at a high level. Uh, he's doing exactly what they're asking him to do, and uh, we'll try to take away some of those options and those deep balls from him, uh, for him so he can keep checking down to running backs and stuff like that. Is he a little bit more the game that you guys just played? Yeah, similar, honestly. Uh, I mean, we gave up, I think, what, 107 passing yards. You know, obviously at the end of a game and, you know, with all the emotions of losing the game and stuff like that, you kind of get, you know, lost and uh, with the stats and stuff like that. But me watching the film, uh, I really felt like, you know, we didn't really play that bad uh, as far as on defense. But a couple key spots that we didn't play well, you know, touchdown in the red zone here and there. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think that if we could play that like that, uh, like we played um, on Sunday, I think we'll be fine. You know, just a couple times where I think we could have just challenged receivers just a little bit more. Does Jones look a little more advanced maybe than your typical rookie quarterback? Honestly, I think most of these rookie quarterbacks coming in the league now is a little bit more advanced than they were when I first came into the league. Uh, I think quarterback play in this league is at a, is at a really high level. Uh, there isn't a lot of teams that just have bad quarterbacks, and um, he's no different by him being a rookie. Um, I mean, it's the reason why he went um, – high in the first round. So I just think he's just being smart. He's not being careless with the ball. He just, I think any quarterback, regardless if you're a rookie, you're 
20-year vet like Tom Brady, uh, if you don't turn the ball over and you continue to give your offense chance to chance to keep snapping the ball, eventually you know they turn the points and you end up winning a lot of games. So uh, we're going to find ways to make sure we get the ball off him. Running backs pretty comparable guys, or they present different challenges when they're out there? Uh, no, I, th I think they are. You know, I think – they're all kind of comparable, but at the same time, they do present different things. Obviously, Stevenson or the running back, he's a rookie. Uh, he's playing really well for those guys. And, um, you know, I think just as a whole entire offense, they all have different uh, personnel guys that do different things well. Um, so I think that just throughout this week, we're going to make sure that we're studying these guys and make sure we understand what all these guys do well. I understand you maybe have, a, I guess, a Thanksgiving event today. Can you yeah. talk a little, maybe a little bit about that and why that's important to you? Yeah, I mean, I've always talked about the community efforts that I do uh, throughout Nashville, and obviously today is going to be no different. We're going to be partnering with Eat Well Nashville, and we'll be delivering to – it's not going to be as big as I usually done it, uh, but we're going to be delivering uh, holiday uh, Thanksgiving meals to 10 different families, but we'll also be uh, giving them a you know, $2,500 check as well uh, to help out with this, the holidays because um, we understand that, you know, sometimes – we, we, we all do a lot of Thanksgiving stuff, but I'm not really big on just handing out turkeys because sometimes even myself, I don't even know how to cook a turkey. So it wouldn't feel right for me just handing out a turkey and not, you know, actually cooking it for them. So we're going to deliver meals to those guys, but also uh, give them a little bit of relief for the holidays.